Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make these little octopus in two variations, one with these embroidered eyes and one with these safety eyes. And ignore this little patch on the table here, I got some super glue on the table. You'll need scissors, um, super glue is optional. I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook, a stitch marker, and I have safety eyes in their washers, an embroidery needle, and some dark colored thread for the embroidered eyes if that's what you want. You'll also need a main color yarn. I'm using this light blue and a pink or reddish color for the octopus's mouth. Okay, so we're going to be using something called the magic circle and this is how you make it. You want to have your thread in front of your fingers, like so, and then hold it down with your thumb. Then with the thread that's attached to the ball, wrap it around your fingers, your first two fingers, and then make an X, like that. And then you wanna turn your fingers over to this side where you have um, two parallel lines. You wanna take your hook, go underneath the first one, first strand, then pick up the second one, like that and make sure you twist it so let me show you that again you go under pick it up and then twist the hook towards you like that and then you have a chain here so you have that strand and then you can just chain one then you can get it off your fingers and tighten up that chain one a little bit and i like to take out this strand so now we're going to be doing single crochets into this circle, which is the magic circle. So I'm going to be doing six single crochet. So that's one. So you insert your hook into the circle, yarn over, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And that's a single crochet. So I just made two and I'm going to make four more. And six. So here's a little tip, we're going to pull on this loose end here and that's going to tighten the circle. So It tightens the circle, but the little tip is to not tighten the circle fully before you make your next stitch so that the next stitch is really easy to make. So you're going to insert your hook into your first stitch, okay, once you insert your hook we are not going to slip stitch or anything, we're just going to go ahead and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So, now you can go ahead and get to your stitch marker and put it in that stitch we just made. So we finished row one and that was the first stitch of row two. <clears throat> Okay, I will tighten the circle up later, but we're just going to continue with row two. And row two is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. So we already made one single crochet into the first stitch. And we're just going to go ahead, go back into that first stitch, and then make another single crochet. Then we're going to do that all the way around. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and then do that twice in every single stitch. So at the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches and I will meet you back. All right, so I'm going into my last stitch. Make one single crochet, then another. And remember that first stitch, we don't go into it because we made that stitch already for the second row. You wanna go ahead and take it out and Round three, you're going to single crochet one into the first stitch. Go ahead and put your stitch marker in that stitch. And then you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to repeat that again, that pattern, which is single crochet into the first stitch then two single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat that all the way around and at the end you will have 18 stitches so i'll meet up with you once i finish this row all right so i'm going into the last stitch of the row and the 
the last stitch you should be putting in two single crochet so make sure that's what's happening and then you can go ahead and count your stitches okay so we have 18 stitches and i'm going to tighten up this circle okay that looks good to me and you can just leave this alone because this strand will just be weaved in um, once we stuff everything so moving on to row four go ahead and take out your stitch marker into the first stitch you're going to make one single crochet and then go ahead and put your stitch marker on and then in the second stitch you're going to also make a single crochet and you're just going to do this all the way around so one single crochet into each stitch all the way around so at the very end of the row you will have 18 stitches in total so i'll meet you back there Alrighty, we're at the very last stitch where we will just put in one single crochet and we finish row four now row five and six are the exact same as four so that means we're just going to single crochet in each stitch one one single crochet in each stitch all the way around twice and we're gonna move on to row seven which is a decreasing row so we're going to single crochet in the first stitch Go ahead and put in your stitch marker and then we're going to invisible decrease and I'll show you how to do that. So into the next stitch you're going to insert your hook but you're only going to pull up the front loop. So if we look at the side of the stitch you have this part in the front and this part in the back. You see the V, we have the front loop and then the back loop. Into the second stitch Gonna insert a hook but only pick up the front loop like so and then don't do anything you're going to insert your hook into the third stitch and go through only the front loop so you basically have three loops on your hook and you've picking up the first front loops of the second and third stitch you're gonna yarn over pull through those two front loops you're going to single crochet and pull through both of those loops. Make sure that when you're looking at it, this isn't the next stitch. This is the next stitch. You see this little V that it makes when you go through the front loops? This hole on the right and the hole on the left, those are not stitches you're going to go through because we have already gone through them. So one more time single crochet into the next stitch front loop another front loop yarn over pull through the two front loops yarn over pull through two so you're gonna do that all the way around and at the end of the row you will have 12 stitches and we're gonna add on the eyes go ahead and pull this loop that you just made big and now we're gonna work on eyes and then we're gonna stuff it I will show you how to do the eyes with the safety eyes first so you have your safety eyes and your washers so here's how I place them where we ended I feel like this is where the quote-unquote seam is so I like to put the eyes on the other side and then if this is the middle then I'll put one eye like here Again, there's like no rule for this. You can put them anywhere. I'm gonna look at the one I made before. I have one, two, three, four stitches between them. I think that's a good distance. So I'm gonna do that here. One, two, three, four. Just gonna put your eye down. And by the way, I put the eyes between the fourth and the fifth row. At the end, it won't look like this, but right now it looks like this. And then, um, to attach the washers, you want to kind of turn it inside out, take one of your washers, put it on, and then you want to press through and click it twice. Um, I'm not going to show you that here because I want to show you how to stitch on the eyes, but 
you would do that for your toy eyes, your safety eyes. But I'm going to show you how I embroider on the eyes. So I take a dark thread, I'm going to use black here. And because yarn is quite thick, I'm going to split this yarn. It has four strands, so I'm going to split into two. Like that. And then I'm just going to pull it. So now we basically have two strands. You can also just use embroidery thread, but I just wanted to show you how to do it with yarn. And then kind of just pull on it to untangle. And you want to go ahead and put it on your embroidery needle. Okay, so we're going to start the eye from the top, go down to the side, go back up, go down, go back up, and then tie it off, and then do the other side. So the top of the eye is between the third and fourth row, and the bottom of the eye is between the fourth and fifth row, which means... Again, this is what I think of as the seam. So I go to the front and then I'll go, I think I'll go here today. So then go ahead and put that in. This is between the third and the fourth row. So one, two, three, four. Go ahead and pull that up and then leave some thread at the bottom. And what you're gonna do is you're going to insert your needle. I don't like to go super wide so this is one of the stitches I'm going into the middle of the stitch, the bottom of the middle of the stitch. Here, it's kind of hard to poke through, but I promise you'll manage. So once you've poked through, go ahead and go back out. Looks like that. This is the back, and this is the top of the eye. So we're gonna go back through the top of the eye. And our heater just started, so sorry for the background noise. I'm gonna pull that through. And now you're back at the top of the eye. And I will be doing the other side, which goes like that, which is the middle of the stitch on the right. There we go. Pull it through. And that's what your eye looks like. So at this point, I like to cut off leaving a little bit of yarn and we're just going to tie those two black strands of yarn together so i'm going to go ahead and flip it inside out again so that was the first part of the eye and the second part we didn't put it together so we're going to tie it together and i like to do a double knot to make sure it's super secure And then you can just cut these a little shorter if they bother you. And you can also cut this middle piece a little shorter. And then that's one eye. The distance between the two eyes I did was one full stitch. One full stitch between the eyes. So again, middle of this stitch, one full stitch, middle of this stitch. And you're done with your eyes. Next, we're just going to stuff our octopus, and then we're going to make our little legs. Just go ahead and stuff it in. This, make sure you don't get this loop in because we have to still work with our yarn. We can always add in a little more later, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our last round of decreasing, row 8. So go ahead and take off your stitch marker. If there's like some sticking out, you can take it out and um, put the stuffing back later if it's overflowing and bothering you, but I'm good with it. So <laughs> go ahead and go into your first stitch. And we're just going to start off with an invisible decrease. So pick up the front loops of the first two stitches, yarn over, pull through those, and then pull through both the loops on your hook. And then you can put in stitch marker so this row we're just doing invisible decreases all the way around and at the end of the row you should have six invisible decreases you can go ahead and take out your stitch marker we're going to move on to the legs if you want to add any stuffing make sure to add it now and I'm just squishing it around so the stuffing is not all at the top of the head very nice all right then we're gonna make the legs so 
show you the example again. We have six legs and you can um, pull them out like this and roll them up back. And the bottom is actually really pretty in my opinion. It looks like a little star and it's pretty flat. So the octopus can stand on their own. So into the first stitch to your hook through both loops, yarn over, pull through and make a single crochet. So now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then into your hook, into the second chain from your hook. So not this one, but this one. Just the loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's a single crochet. And then you're gonna do another single crochet that first chain you made. So you should have two single crochet. And that makes your little leg. Now to secure it, you're gonna go into that same stitch where you made the first initial single crochet and you're going to slip stitch so that you um, yarn over, pull through, and then you yarn over or you don't yarn over, you just take that first loop and pull it through the second loop. And then we're gonna do the same thing six times. So insert your hook into the next stitch, single crochet, chain three, insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, single crochet, then the third, the next chain, single crochet, and then into that bottom single crochet that's attached to the body and slip stitch. So after you're done with your legs, you are just going to yarn over, pull through, which is a chain, and we're gonna fasten off. Um, leave a pretty long tail, I'd say seven or eight inches, and cut that off. And then just pull, and make sure you pull tight. Those are your little legs. That's really cute. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you how to close up this hole on the bottom. So it goes from looking like this to that. So you're gonna need your embroidery needle. And then go ahead, thread the needle with the yarn end. And then um, you can see the, this is the bottom. These are the bottoms, like this little V here, that one, this one. Those are the bottoms because those are the single crochet, like the foundation single crochets of the legs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and under those loops. So the first two I see are here, but so I'm gonna go ahead and go through like this loop here to get me closer there. And then I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna go under first. It's over the next one, under the next one. And then I'm just gonna pull through here, turn over that one, under this one, over that one, under this one, pull, and then turn over this one, under this one, over that one, and then these are kind of hard to see, but there's a little V, under this one, and over that one. So once you make that, when you pull it, it should cinch everything up. So I like to put my finger over it and then cinch, pull really tight, that's how you make that little star on the bottom. Go ahead and go through a random loop. Doesn't really matter. Um, this one looks good. Pull through almost all the way and go through that little loop to make a knot. Pull tight. And then we're gonna go through the middle Push your needle all the way to the top of the head. This is just how I like to do it. 
and then pull tight at the bottom. And when it's at the top, pull really tight. And when you cut off, the yarn will disappear right into your octopus. Ta-da! So we've basically finished our octopus. I'm just gonna show you how to do the little mouth. We'll glue it on and then you'll be done. All right, so for the mouth, you're gonna need your yarn. I'm just using this pink yarn. And you're gonna take the same hook and we're gonna create our magic circle and do eight single crochet. That's all we're doing. So magic circle, hold on to the loose end, make an X, turn over for parallel lines, under, over, pull through, twist towards you, pick up that other thread, the one that's attached to the ball, chain one. Um, go ahead and pull through that loose end. We're gonna single crochet eight. Seventh and eighth single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight single crochet. Pull on the end. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna pull it all the way yet because I'm gonna go into the first stitch. I'm just gonna go through one of the loops. Um, and I'm not I'm not gonna go through both. And then I'm just going to slip stitch, chain one. And then cut off. Doesn't have to be super long, but it should be long enough because we're gonna um, weave it in a little. Pull through, pull. And with the bottom thread, you wanna close up your circle almost all the way, but I like to leave a little gap because I like the mouth to be like, you know, have a little gap in the middle. So you're just gonna weave in these ends. There's not a specific way to do it. So after you weave them in, you can cut them off. Doesn't have to be perfect. But that's it. So go ahead and get your body over and your super glue if that's what you're using. Um, you can just use your th one of your threads and sew it onto the body if you want to do that, but I find that to be so hard and not super secure, so I just like to do it this way. Put our super glue on there. Very concentrated, am I not? <laughs> and then just put it on and you're done. That's our little octopus. Here's its family. All right, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your octopus turns out amazing. And if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.